lures and bits and bobs. You know, it's quite easy to just ram your suitcase full of everything that you'll probably find that 60% of it you won't even use out here. Um, like I say, I've been coming for quite a few years now. I've trimmed it right down. This is the grand sum of my, my tackle. I've got this bag here, which isn't even full, and this little box here. And the whole lot between it weighs about six kilos. I'll just show you what I've got in here, just pull a few bits out. I've got some um, Storm Big Max Rapala X wraps are good as well. I'll always bring a couple of them with me because when the coalfish get going on the surface over here, you can have some fantastic fun snapping one of them on a lure rod and trolling it at like two and a half knots and catching uh, coalies off the surface. Um, I always bring some of the, the, the large kiddie sidewinders. They work really well for the cod and the halibut. So I've got three of them in there, don't need any more than three. This year I've brought out a handful, literally there's, what is there, there's half a dozen there, different sizes, fish black minnows. And uh, these have been absolutely deadly for the halibut for me over here this year. Even the tiny little ones like that inshore, I've been catching chicken halibut up to sort of 12 pound. Just flicking that out in 16, 17 metres of water, letting it hit the bottom. And just a slow retrieve, trying to keep it near the bottom, slow retrieve and bringing it all the way up to the boat. I mean, it was quite funny. Yesterday, I flicked this lure out, cast it out, and I was getting near to the boat, and I thought, oh, I'll grab another chuck. So I wound in like crazy. Fish black minnows jumped out of the water, followed by a halibut. It's the first time I've ever seen a halibut leave the water. It jumped out of the water to try and grab the lure, and just sat there on the surface. And I called Leso and said, ah, look at this. And there it was, it's just halibut, just sitting there, just under the surface, and then off we went. Um, but yeah, they love these these black minnows. Got some surface poppers here, just in case, again, the coalfish go off on the top. HGO slow jigs, various sizes, good selection of them. Like I say, they've been working really well for the halibut in the shallow water over here. Little tube of super glue, just to repair the bodies on the, on the black minnows. Uh, and a couple of speed jigs, again, for the, for the coalfish. You're fishing in 100 metres of water drop it down sort of 70, 80 metres and then crank them up like hell. Coalfish are always in the, in the top third of the water. So that's what's in that box. For, for a bit of fun on the light here. In this bag, I have all my essentials. I've got some sabikis and, and some feathers for catching coalies to use as dead bait. Decent pair of pliers with cutters on them. Uh, these ones are the breakaway ones and they've got the split ring ply bit on the end which is really handy and carbide blades there for cutting your braid. Little hook sharpener that you know just buff your hooks up on your lures every now and then because it makes a world of difference. Okay as far as the big lures go this is it this is all I bring with me. A couple of the big uh, Savage Gear sand hills, two of those. I've got a, a big Coal imitation Roy Balur, that is one of them. Uh, this is another Roy just slightly bigger. All these lures work for the halibut and the big cod. And we're going to be going out later on today in search of the, the big chunkies. And these two, that's it, two perks, that's all I ever bring with me. Um, it's very rare that you lose gear out here. I think I've probably lost six, seven perks in 14 trips. Uh, these are 350 grams, Abu Silens, and I find these absolutely deadly for halibut and cod and pretty much everything else to be fair. Um, sometimes I'll bring a 500 gram with me as well, but I didn't bother this trip because I'm fishing light gear. So that's it, that's all the lures that I brought with me. Um, and I've been fishing so far for what, seven days and I've not lost any gear. Okay, box full of Beads for me place fishing, two different sizes of swivels, breakaway fast links, I'll explain that in a minute. So I've got a little bead box there. I've got another box with some LRF gear in here because I've had a little muck about in the harbour. Um, again, some smaller swivels, some smaller links for the place fishing. Um, another box with some hooks in, one O's and two O's, again for the place fishing. Um, and dabs, there's some huge dabs over here. And then a couple of spools of line, some 30, some 20. 
And then in this pocket here, I have some spare braid. I've got some 30 and some 50 just in case. Another spool of 20 for the lure rod. 200 pound mono and 150 pound mono. And that's it. That's the grand sum of all of my tackle for two weeks fishing. Um, and like I say, you really don't need to bring any more with you. When it comes to the fishing, the rods and reels, you don't need leaders here. And by that, I mean you don't need 20 foot of 80 pound mono that you wind right up onto your reel. All I do, and it's very, very simple, braid straight through the rod. And then this is it, this is 150 pound mono. I've got a swivel on one end, tie that to the end of your braid. And then this is actually a little bit shorter than I normally use. I normally use five feet. And then break away, fast link, tied to the bottom to clip your lure on. That's all you need. And the only reason you need this is A, for a bit of bite trace, and then B, when you get the fish up to the surface, you can grab, give that a wrap and hoik it in if it's, if it's too small to gaff. So there you go. I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I need to mention. Like I say, just, you know, cut down your gear because you really don't need an awful lot out here.